In this video, we will be learning about CEAP classification. This classification is mainly used in cases of venous insufficiency. Like in the cases of varicose veins or in the diseases of the perforator veins of the lower limb. CEAP classification is an international classification in which the C stands for clinical, E stands for etiology, A stands for anatomy and P stands for pathophysiology. Now let's learn each of this in detail. Clinical classification. The C0 that means there is no evidence of venous disease. C1. There are telangiectasias or reticular veins present. C2. Presence of varicose veins. C3. There is edema associated with the venous disease. C4a. In this, there is pigmentation or eczema of the skin. C4b. In this, you can see lipodermatosclerosis. You will learn about this in upcoming videos. C5. In this, you see a healed venous ulcer. C6 in which you can see an active venous ulcer. So this is the clinical classification. You can take a screenshot of this. The second one is the etiology. In this, C stands for congenital. P for primary venous disease. S for secondary venous disorder. And N for not specified. So the etiology can be congenital or primary, secondary or not specified. Coming to the anatomical classification. So anatomically we know that lower limb contains superficial veins, deep veins and perforators. So this is the anatomical classification. So AS stands for superficial vein, AD stands for deep veins and AP stands for perforating veins and AN is not specified. And coming to the pathophysiological classification. The pathophysiology of venous insufficiency can be due to defective venous reflex that is PR. It can also be due to venous obstruction that is PO and the non-specified variety. So this is the CEAP classification. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel.